Hello everyone, Mimo Christoph here. I was asked if I could do a video about Phil Maple's Acer Campestre. So today, this is what I'm going to talk about. Phil Maples are very vigorous trees and they are perfect material for bonsai creation. They grow very fast, thick trunks could be achieved relatively quickly when uh, field grown, when you grow them in your garden, in the ground. So far I collected five field maples and all of them rooted very well. This one was collected this spring and you can see it has already nice long extensions indicating that the roots are growing as well. This year I'm not going to do anything on this tree. I even let grow all these suckers to make sure the tree rooted very well. Next year I'm going to select the buds. On several spaces there are already three branches growing from the same spot. Next year I'm going to select just one and I will give it its first initial styling. Although only after one year, but I know from my experience with field maples so far that after they rooted well the first year and they grew strong, you can safely style them the following year. Field maples should be collected in spring when the buds start to swell. I plant them in zeolite. They are very vigorous and fast growing trees. As you can see, this tree has already nice long extensions indicating that the roots are growing well as well. Field maples should be placed in full sun with good air circulation and that prevents the leaves to get mildew on them. Thanks to the strong growth of my field maples, I can afford to do the complete defoliation every season. This tree was collected three years ago. After I built the primary and secondary branches, I started with full defoliation on this one as well. And this is the second year I'm going to do it on this tree. The purpose of the full defoliation is in the first place to create ramification and to let the sun into the crown. Decreased leaf size is secondary benefit of defoliation and only appears when the ramification is dense enough and there are many, many leaves. Defoliating field maple in early stages of development when you're developing trunk or the primary branches may result in even bigger leaves. So please remember this. If you let the branch on the field maple grow unpruned, it will just keep on extending. It won't bifurcate by itself. That's why you have to cut the branch at the first two leaves. And then at this place where the leaves are, new buds will activate and uh, you'll get two new branches growing from here. And that's how you build a ramification on a field maple. And here you can see two new branches growing at the place where the branch was cut a few weeks earlier. From each of these two new branches, only one bud will start to grow and again the branch will elongate. So if you're building a fine ramification on a field maple, you should pinch this, this new bud extending as soon as possible with the tweezers. Then you'll get two buds again activated and starting to grow. New buds often appear further down on the branches, especially at the junctions. As the every branch should bifurcate, you can remove all these new buds. If you cut the wrong branch on a field maple, or you lose it for some other reason, it's very likely that the new bud and branch will appear very close to it. The vigor of the field maples is a disadvantage when it comes to building a nice ramification. However, this is possible when you use the correct techniques. The growth pattern of the branches is very coarse and very straight. That's why every new branch has to be wired. Thanks to the fact that the new buds appear at the junctions, you can make the new choice and select the branches that are going the more suitable direction. 
So for example, this one is going back to the crown, so I don't need it. I'm going to cut. I cut it, this one here. And I keep these two branches growing out of the crown. All right, now that the defoliation branch and bud selection is done, I can start wiring the tree. Now that the wiring is done, I'm going to wait for the new buds to open. For the rest of the season, I will let the bottom branches grow a little bit longer before I prune them. And I'm going to pinch new buds on top as soon as they appear. I need to strengthen the lower branches and I don't want thick branches on top anymore. And here I am with this field maple just two weeks after defoliation. Where I had just one long elongated branch before, now I have two new fresh branches. As I don't want it to elongate much further and I want to bring ramification closer to the trunk, I need to pinch this right away. New buds will appear at the base of these two side leaves again. And just like this, now I have to pinch all these new shoots all over the crown. Another effect of this full defoliation on field maple is a lot of new buds all over the branches and the trunk itself. If you don't want the new branches at these places, you can remove these new buds right away. Quite a lot of new buds can appear at the place where the branch is bifurcating. This can compensate for the field maple's habit of growing long internodes. So for example, I have this branch here and if I don't like this long internode here, I can just cut this branch off, I will leave the new bud grow and I will keep it in check so it don't elongate like this. And this way I can bring the ramification much closer to the trunk by just building a new branch here. There is another way of keeping the internal short of field maples, but you gotta check that on Harry Harrington's bonsaiforme.com. All right, and that's all I can tell you about field maples. If you got any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below this video.